Thank you for joining us for another daily devotion and today we hope that you are doing well. We want you to be on the lookout. We are uh, going to be releasing some information about when our church will open back up and have some services and, and what that means and, and how that process will work and what date that will be and all those kind of things. So we want you to continue to look out for that kind of information. But in the meantime, I would ask you this. I hope that you would be praying for us as we make decisions that are based both on data, on wisdom, and on the goodness of our God. And I hope that we are preparing our hearts to be ready to worship the Lord together. I have missed you. We love you. I can't wait to see you, but we want to do that in the best time possible. And so I want to take you today to something that I saw laying around the office here. Here it is, just a stapler, a stapler that is, is made to take uh, loose grips of, of pages and loose pieces of paper. And suddenly with this device, suddenly they are held together. You know, it's real interesting what it says in the Word of God. It says this in Colossians 1. It says that Jesus, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through Him and for Him. He is before all things and in Him all things hold together. You know what's interesting about Jesus is this, is that in him, all things are held together. The very meaning that we have breath right now because he gives us that ability, that he created and fashioned a world in which we live in and that we can thrive in, but at the same time, he has fashioned a world by which he holds it all together. And so the good news of the gospel is that as we used to sing as kids, he's got the whole world in his hands. That is still true today, that he is holding all things together. He is set apart from creation, but in his humility, he came in the likeness of hum humanity so that he could be a sin offering for humanity. And in that, it's very interesting that when I use a stapler, here's what I know, is that when I take a couple pieces of paper and, or, or a stack of pages and I staple them together, there's, there's this part of the process that's very interesting that in order for them to hold together with a staple, there has to be holes. There has to be a wound on that paper. And in our life, it's similar that Jesus Christ holds everything together, but he came in the likeness of humanity to be a sin offering for humanity. And by that, he was wounded. He was wounded and his skin, his his hands, his feet, they were pierced and he has held us together. For those that believe in him, he has held us together as the church. In the books of Ephesians and 1 Peter, for example, it talks about how we are being built up on the cornerstone and the cornerstone being Jesus Christ, the solid rock. And that we, as the church, are living stones that are built into this building that are built into this process. So I want you to know this, that the church is not this building. The church is not a meeting place. The church is you and I built on the cornerstone, Jesus Christ, who was wounded for our transgressions and by his wounds, we are healed. He is holding us together. He is holding it all together. So when you look at me, know this, I have no power or ability of my own to fix things and neither do you. But the good news of the gospel is this, is that Christ is coming again. And in that day, he will establish a new heaven and a new earth. And we will be reconciled and glorified. We'll have this, this eternity with him that lasts for all eternity with no pain and no suffering that he will have reconciled the world to himself. And so right now, Romans 8 tells us that the world is groaning, waiting for that day, the day that the glory would be revealed in us that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and that he has called us and saved us for all eternity. Today, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to know that he's holding it together. He has been wounded so that we may have life in his name and we may be built together as his church. I hope today that you rest in his finished work and his hands holding it all together. We love you. Thank you so much.